Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Fit Series. And today what we're going to do is a 35 minute kettlebell core stability. So I'm using one kettlebell. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. I do like kettlebells because they change the dynamics a little bit on how they're distributed with weight really activates that core. But if you don't have one, a dumbbell is going to be completely fine. Make sure you also grab your mat, your sweat tie, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay. So hopefully you a chance to grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell, your sweat tie, your drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some trunk twists. Swing those arms and twist that trunk. Ooh, three more like this. Two more, last one. Let's take those elbows up top and we're just gonna twist and drive. I'm not gonna touch that knee, I'm just gonna twist over as I drive the knee up. Boom. Three more like this, two more. Last one, this time you're gonna twist down and grab to that knee. Boom, boom, boom. We've got three, two, Last one, this time, let's try and touch those toes and kick them out. Woo, hello hamstrings. One more on each side. And then we're gonna go right out here and we're gonna do a nice good windmill. We're gonna touch down, hinge down, touch that hand to the opposite toe, hinging through those hips so you're gliding those hamstrings. We've got one more on each side. And we're gonna take those arms. We're gonna reach back and then we're gonna hinge down. We're gonna reach back, hinge down, two more just like that. Last one, hinge back, drive, and then we're gonna squat deep and then press those knees back, okay? Getting those hips moving, getting those hamstrings moving. Two more. Last one, we're gonna go low and open up those hips right there. Ooh. Three more like this, two more. Last one, in this low position, we're gonna open up that thoracic spine by reaching and twisting up to the ceiling. Boom, keeping those hips locked. One more on each side, and then we're gonna put those hands right there on those knees. Let's go in and out. Oh, feels good for two more like this. Last one, let's push open those hips and drive that shoulder to the opposite knee. Oh. One more on each side. Come on up. We're gonna do a big hip circle right there. Boom, boom, boom. Other direction, big hip circle. Other side, a big hip circle. Other direction. Okay, and then we're gonna do in and out with that chest. Rotating those thumbs, boom. Give me a little bit bounce there. Three more like this. Two more. Last one, all the way up and top. Boom. Boom, for three, two. Last one, here we go. Big circles on those arms. Big circles the other way. Okay, roll those shoulders. Roll those hips. Roll them the other way. Oh yeah, doesn't that feel good? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna roll that ankle and that wrist, roll it the other way. We're just getting everything moving because we're gonna stabilize everything, okay? Let's get that neck nice and moving. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about what we're gonna do. So we're gonna just use one kettlebell or dumbbell. We are gonna work for 40 seconds with a pause three times through. So this is working on a lot of endurance for you. So I want you to be able to pick a weight that you can do throughout. You may have to drop down, that's okay. Some things are gonna be double-sided, some things are gonna be single-sided, so we'll go back and forth on some of that. Okay, and we're gonna start with a figure eight. So we're gonna come through those legs and pull it up, come through the legs and pull it up, okay? Then the, and then we're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna go both directions, okay? So I'm hinging down, I'm keeping that weight close, and I'm rocking it right in and out. So I'm doing like a nice good figure eight right through those legs, okay? So I want you to grab, and if you're doing this with a dumbbell, same thing, right? It's just through those legs, same idea, okay? So let's grab that weight, let's rock this. Here we go, in three, two, one. Here we go, figure eight, boom, and boom. Down and around, okay? Got a, I'm bending at those knees, okay? I'm not hinging down, I'm bending 
into that squat and I'm coming through. Okay, nice, good, stable position. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go the other direction next time and then we're gonna alternate sides, directions on the last round, okay? We've got 15 more seconds. You will feel like one direction is a little bit easier than the other, totally natural. Here we go, we've got five. Four, three, two, one, and pause. Other direction in three, two, one. Right here, through it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, maybe a little bit more challenging. This is where I like the kettlebell. Okay, that kettlebell is swinging that uneven weight and it's making me work just a little bit more than a dumbbell, which is more evenly distributed weight. Are you still getting a great workout? Heck yeah. But if you ever think about adding that in, kettlebell is a great way to add in. Okay, I got a three pack at the local store. You can sometimes find it on, you know, places where people are selling them because um, personal people, you can get them pretty cheap that way too. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and pause. Now we're alternating between in three, two, one. So go all the way through and then change that direction. Ooh, making my brain think. Then change that direction. As you go all the way through, boom, and change. Bend into those knees, pulling it through. You're doing awesome. Come on, you have 15 more seconds. I used to do this with a basketball. <laughs> Now no the kettlebell. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, this is where we're gonna do a nice good half kneel wood chop. Okay, so I'm gonna put my knee down and have one leg up, one knee down. I'm gonna take that dumb that dumbbell or kettlebell from my hip and I'm gonna go up and across. So on the half kneel down. I'm gonna have that weight and I'm gonna go up to that opposite side on that knee. All three rounds are on this side. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, up and over. Okay, nice, good, diagonal. Okay, and I'm using that core. I'm keeping my elbows slightly bent, right? I wanna protect that joint. Put that long lever arm, working that core. We're working in that nice, good diagonal which I like diagonals, okay? They are so functional. They're changing multi-planar. So good for our body. We got 10 more seconds. Come on, drive this up and across. Five, four, three, two, one, and pause two more times, just like that in three, two, one, up and across. Okay, nice and controlled. Driving it up and across. Yes, it's working your shoulders, but it should be working a lot of that core with that long lever arm. Boom, and back. You might have to adjust the dumbbell or kettlebell you're using. Okay, it's gonna fatigue. Like I said, it's working on a lot of endurance today on that core. 15 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and pause one more time on this side before we switch it out in three, two, one. Here we go, up and a rack. Drive it up and around, and then you guessed it. We gotta do the other side, right? We gotta even ourselves out. Drive it up and out and across to that opposite shoulder. Boom, and back. You got 15 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, same thing on that other side. Grab a drink if you want to. Okay, nice and controlled other direction from that hip to the opposite 
shoulder, okay? Like I said, my arms aren't locked out in that extension. It's a slightly bit bent to protect that joint, okay? You ready to rock this? Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and across. Nice work, drive it up, pull it across. This side might be a little more challenged, why? Because it still was working when we were stabilizing on the other side, okay? It's not like only one side is working, right? So, whoo, 10 more seconds, boom, and back. Four, three, two, one, and pause. Okay, another time, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, up, and drive it across. Nice and controlled. Drive it up to that opposite shoulder and back. Boom, and back. Come on, 15 more seconds. Drive that across. You're doing awesome. Here we go, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and pause. One more set. Here we go in three, two, one. Nice, strong chest up, core strong. Doing that nice, good diagonal from the hip to the opposite shoulder. Come on, wood chop that baby. Boom, and back. We're gonna go up and do some around the world next. You don't even have to pack your bags. <laughs> Come on, we got 15 more seconds of this. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're going up. Don't need the mat right now. Don't worry, we're gonna use it soon. Okay, and we're gonna do around the world. We're gonna start with just around those hips, okay? Alternating direction, second round. We're gonna go around that neck, all terrain directions, and then that third round, we're gonna go hip, both directions, neck, both directions. We're gonna have some fun. Are you ready to try this? Here we go. We've got around the world on our trunk. Woo! Okay, catch that breath. In three, <laughs> two, one. Here we go. Around the world and back. Nice and stable. Okay, keeping that core engaged as you drive that hip around. Alternating sides. Again, this is where that kettlebell has that uneven weight that I like, making it a little bit more challenging. 15 more seconds, and then we're gonna do around the neck. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and pause around the neck. Here we go, in three, two, one. Around all the way in that neck, and then go the other direction. Guess what, we're gonna work those shoulder mobility with this also. Up and around, and that core's gotta stabilize you as you do all this uneven weight around. Woo! Okay, in our last round, we'll do around the world, each direction on our around our waist, and then we'll go up around the neck. I feel like we're orbiting First the earth, and then we're orbiting the moon. <laughs> 10 more seconds, the things I think about. I know, almost there. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and pause. This is it, okay? Around the waist, then around the neck in three, two, one. Here we go, around, and around, and then around that neck. Oh yeah, and then back around, Woo. Like I said, sometimes you can find personal people who are selling equipment they don't use and find really good deals. I've done that a lot. So you never know, you could just look around, keep your eyes open for sales. Oh yeah, 10 more seconds, almost there. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going back to that mat a little bit. We're gonna do like a half kneel, kind of, okay? So I'm going to do, I'm gonna go from a kneel position. I'm gonna come up and down into that lunge and back into a kneel, okay? To a half kneel, to a lunge. Here's the caveat. If you're gonna do with me, we're gonna do that overhead. Okay, to the best of your ability. Maybe you have to come down to that shoulder for some of it. That's okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Into the half kneel, whoop. Up top, back down, into the kneel. Okay, maybe you can do it the whole time with that overhead. Okay, maybe shoulder may just give out, that's okay. Go to that shoulder. Come back in when you can. And yeah, we're doing three rounds on this side. It's not a fast move. It's a controlled move, okay? Keeping my leg, my hips very stable. Coming up, back down. Oh yeah. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and pause one more, two more times, okay? If you need to, elevate that surface so you don't have to go as deep, okay? In three, two, one. Whoop, I already started that way. Okay, so you can have, like you don't have to be resting as low to the ground, right? You can be resting on a yoga block. That way you don't have to go as deep. And then come back up. That's how you modify. Maybe all you're holding is a water bottle. That's also okay. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, and pause. One more time on this side. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Three, two, one. And then we got the other side, of course, right? <laughs> Nicely controlled. If you need to, drop it down. Okay, you're still working on that control. You can keep it up there. Awesome socks. 15 more seconds. Control it all the way down, all the way up. You got this for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so the key is really trying to keep those hips stable the whole time, right? Like I'm not rocking, I'm not rocking around, right? I'm coming right up, down and then controlling it down, okay? That's, that's the key. You ready to try this? Here we go. We've got three, two, one. Other side, down and up, half kneel. Control is the name of the game. Nice, strong core, keeping those hips Nice and level, pushing up. If you got that weight overhead, adding more challenge to that core to stabilize all that unevenness. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Round two, in three, two, one. Like I said, it's not a rush game, it's a control game. Stay nice and stable throughout the process. You got this, you're over halfway. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, pause in three. <laughs> Last one in two. One. I say rest naturally, but this one's really like a pause. Okay, we're gonna go down on our back. We're gonna do some toe touches with leg drops. Nice and controlled.
Stay steady, stay focused. 15 more seconds. It's not matter how many reps, it's how the quality of the movement on this is. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going down on the ground, on the mat. Okay, we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna reach towards our toes, and then we're gonna toe touch. So we're gonna reach towards our toes, and then we're gonna lay drop. You can lay drop one or both, that's up to you. Woo, that's what we got. Three rounds of it, are you ready? Here we go. Gotta move my little mic here. Here we go, three, two, one. Toe touch, lay drop. One at a time, or you can do both at the same time. Control that leg. Okay, as soon as you feel your back arch, that means you are compensating, okay? So as soon as you feel it arch, pull that leg back up. That is when you're done with those abs, okay? You're compensating, that's okay. That's just a good indication, okay? If you wanna keep that, you, you're compensating with the wrong thing. So just be paying attention to it. Almost through this set in five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Round two in three, two, one, reach towards the sky. Okay, you don't have to touch the toes, but you gotta get those shoulder blades up and off. Nice work. Come on, halfway there. Pay attention. Like I said, it's about control. It's not about speed. Almost there in five, four, three, two, one, and pause. One more set. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Reach for that sky. Drop that down. Nice work. Woo, yeah. We're gonna go up. Do another standing activity next. Come on, reach for the sky. Make sure you get those shoulder blades up off the ground. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Sometimes I have trouble speaky when I'm working so hard to stabilize. Okay, we're coming up. We are going to take that and do a little bit of a trunk twist. Let me get my mic back on properly. Okay, so we're gonna take that. And we're gonna just twist to the side and we're gonna drive that knee up right there. Boom, boom, a nice good trunk twist. Keep that weight kind of close to your body. Here we go, to the right in three, two, one. Drive it up and twist. So I'm keeping my chest tall with that weight right there, twisting it over, and then driving that knee up at the same time. Okay, working on some balance and some stability. You guessed it, we're doing three rounds on this side. Again, control that body, okay? Control that trunk. Boom, and back. 15 more seconds. Okay, I'm not... Hinging down and twisting right to the side and up. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and pause. One more, two more sets like that. Here we go. Three, two, one. You got this. Boom. And back. Twist that up. Drive it over. Nice and controlled, right? Nice tall trunk, and then it's just rotating to the side. That uneven balance, challenging that core. 15 more seconds. Nice work, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and pause one more time like that, okay? Here we go, three, two, 
one, boom, hand over. Drive it up and across. Nice and controlled, drive that trunk, just, just a nice good rotation and driving that knee up, boom, and back. 15 more seconds, and then we'll do the other side after a water break, ooh yeah. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got the other side, even ourselves out. Remember, when I say core, I don't just mean abs, right? I mean deep hip muscles, right? Pelvic floor, all of that is part of your core. So we're using those deep hip muscles, okay? To stabilize as we drive that hip up and we're rotating right here, boom. Boom, right there, okay, here we go. Three, two, one, rotate and back. Drive that hip up, twist to the side and back. Nice and controlled, working that balance, right? So I'm working on that opposite side to stabilize me, okay, as I drive the opposite hip up. That is working that core, it's challenging the system, so it's not just the rotation with the weight, it's also that single leg balance. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Okay, two more to go on that side. Here we go, three, two, one. Drive it up and twist. Again, keep that weight at the same level. It's just twisting directly to the side but you're driving that hip up at the same time. I'm not twisting down to it. Come on, drive that up and twist. Halfway there, boom, and back. Nice and controlled. Again, working those deep hip muscles also to stabilize on that opposite side. Almost there on this set. Here we go, we've got five, four, three, Two, one, and pause last time of these, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, drive it up and around. Okay, we're gonna go down to the mat for all the rest of the activities. You're so excited. You know, you get to rest on the mat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Boom, drive it up and around, come on. Woo! This is our last single side activity. How's that sound? Does that sound better? Come on, 20 more seconds. Almost there, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going down on the mat. We're gonna do a combined work here. We're gonna go, oh, up and over. We're gonna take that weight all the way up, all the way over. Then we're gonna put it on our chest and we're gonna curl it up and back down. When I curl up in that setup, I'm gonna use my abs. I'm gonna pull from that belly button to drive me up. I'm not gonna pull from my shoulders. Okay, so I'm gonna dry that up, keeping that weight close to the body. Here we go, three, two, one, up overhead, drive it in, put it right to that chest, curl that baby up, and back down. Nice work, stabilizing that weight all the way up overhead, driving it in, taking it to the chest, curling that back up, halfway through. Nice work, come on. Stay steady. Again, it's about the control, not about the speed. Okay, coming from that belly button when you sit up. Three, two, one, and pause. Two more to go, here we go. Three, two, one, up overhead. And then we're sitting that up. Nice work, come on, controlling all those directions. Think about that core, picture that core, stabilizing as you lift that up overhead, 
pull in it too. And then using that core to drive you up, not from those shoulders, but I want from those abs. You got this. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and pause. Guess what? One more set in three, two, one. You got this. And then guess what? We'll have one more activity after this. I know, you're so excited. You should feel like your core should have been working pretty hard. If not, try that again sometime with a heavier weight, right? Woo, come on, you got this. Oh, you're doing awesome. We're gonna do some Russian twists with some press outs. We're gonna press out, we're gonna press up. Challenge that core in those different directions. Lots of fun. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna do a nice good Russian twist. You're gonna sit back on that sit bone, okay? The closer up you are, the easier. The farther you're back, the harder. You're gonna twist and twist. Then we're gonna press out and up in that position, right? Working that core to stabilize that weight up. And then we're gonna go over and over. You ready? Okay, so again, the farther out you are, the harder it is. The closer up, the easier it is. Here we go. Three, two, one. Twist, twist, press out, press up. Twist, twist, press out, press up. Nice work, come on. Touching down, pressing out, pressing up. Stay stable, you can do this. Come on, you got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Two more sets. Are you ready to rock it? Here we go. Three, two, one, each side. Out, hand up, each side. Oh, whoo, I can feel those working. <laughs> okay, it's the control, it's not a speed. You're not using momentum, you are controlling this baby. Halfway there. Oh yeah. Okay, we only have one more set. Four, three, two, one. What does that mean? You got this. Let's finish strong. Here we go. Three, two, one. The last 40 seconds. You got it. Come on. Okay, stay steady through the movement. Keep that stability all the way to that buzzer. Come on, I know. It's getting challenging, it's tiring. That's where it should be. It's gotta work and learn to stabilize when it's tired. Stay focused, you can do this. Come on, you have 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, nice job. We're gonna roll over onto our stomach and we're gonna go a nice good press up and let those shoulders sink down and that back sink down. Stretch out those abs. Let's look over that right shoulder a little bit. Let's look over that left. And then we're gonna go in to child's pose. Press that back. They get those hips stretched out, get those, that low back and those shoulders. Oh yeah, that feels so good, right? Okay, then we're gonna come into a half kneel position. We're gonna tuck that pelvis in. We're gonna lean to the side, get our trunk all stretched out. Oh, that feels great. We're gonna pull that shoulder across. Oh yeah. Nice work. And then we're gonna do the other side, okay? We're gonna tilt that pelvis in. We're gonna lean on over. Oh yeah, a nice good stretch. Then you take that shoulder across. Give me that, we work that shoulder a lot in those stabilizing positions, absolutely. And then we're gonna come back down. We're gonna do a frog pose into that child. 
Okay, right there, getting a little bit more of that pelvic floor, get, opening up those hips. Nice work. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back into quadruped, and then go right into downward dog. Press that open if you can, press down all through those shoulders, through those hamstrings. Nice big exhale, come into that plank position, sink in, and then one more time. Down, right there, press that all the way back. Nice job. One more time, sink that in. Press that all the way back. And then walk that all the way up. Roll those shoulders back. Give yourself a high five for rocking that. Way to go. Make sure you're grabbing some water and some high quality protein. And then, every day. I am so glad you joined me for that video. I sure hope you liked it. Did you know it's part of my new series, Fit This Fall? Oh yeah, we are working on that fitness and it's in my new studio and I'm so glad you joined me. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss what's coming next. I want to make sure you are fit with me. We are gonna have this journey where we get our body nice and stable. We're gonna slow things down, really get our movement patterns in. We're gonna make sure our heart is nice and strong. And I want you to join me. I want you to be fit with me. I cannot wait for this journey. So again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and become friends with me. Get on social media. I love connecting with others as we go along in this journey. So don't forget, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and have a great day!